Now, for this first part, then, we're told that this car is going at 15 meters per second and then comes to rest and it has a deceleration of 2.5 meters per second per second. So I've drawn a simple sketch here of what's going on, but it's this part here that we've got to take care over. The acceleration will be a negative value, okay? It says it's decelerating at a rate of 2.5 meters per second per second, so the acceleration is minus. And we've got to find the time it takes then to go from 15 meters per second to when it comes to rest. And we can do this by just applying, say, the fact that acceleration equals the change in velocity over the time taken. And if you were to rearrange this even, you get the familiar formula that V equals U plus AT. But we do have to take care on this. The final velocity is zero. The initial velocity is 15. And then we've got plus the acceleration, which is plus minus 2.5 times T. So this is minus 2.5t, so if we add it to both sides, we've got 2.5t equals 15. And if we divide both sides here by 2.5, you get t equals 15 divided by 2.5. And if you work that out, t comes out to exactly 6 seconds, okay, 6 seconds. But do take care, as I say, over that acceleration. I can see a lot of people just putting a 2.5 in there and fudging this. They're getting a minus here and coming out with a minus time if you do that. And obviously time can't be negative. All right, so I uh, hope it's given you some idea then on that first part.